Okay, so now <coughs> we will try to solve the problem in a concrete grid as uh, given here. So assume that you are given like six subintervals equally spaced on the x direction and four equally spaced subintervals on the y direction and assume that they are the same. So here the h subscript x just reduced to x and h subscript y just reduced to y. Okay, so that here they're just a square. And now we assume that the boundary values equal 20. So u equal 20 on the boundary. Okay, and now we have to give equation at two points. So x3, y2. So x3, y2 is here. Yeah, so x3, y2. And another one is at x5, y3. So x5, y3 is here. Okay, so we do step by step. So the first one is at x3, y2. So, so remember from previous equation, we have u uh, i minus 1 minus 2. I mean, u i minus 1 j, yeah. minus 2uij plus ui minus 1j divided by x square plus uij plus 1 minus u2ij plus uij minus 1 divided by x square equal f of ij. Okay, so now first because everything divided by x square, so we can multiply by x square. So you divide it, I mean you get rid of x square here, but you multiply by x square here. Okay. And now at x3, y2, so this means that you just put in i equal 3 and j equal 2. Then you have the equation you know, u i plus 1 becomes u 4 2 minus 2 u 3 2 plus u 2 2 plus u 3 3 minus 2 u 3 2 plus u 3 1 equal f32 x square. Okay, so this is the equation at the point x3, y2. And you can you simplify a little bit by adding this term and this term together. Then you can have minus 4 u32 plus u for 2 plus u2 2, 2 plus u3 3, 3 plus u3 1 equal f3 2 x square. Okay, but and you will see the reason later. We can negate the left and the right as well. So if you negate, then you got this one become plus. And this one become minus, this one become minus, this one become minus, and this one become minus, and this one become minus. So now what is what is the structure? The structure is you have four times the point, the current point, yeah, then it minus the four neighbor. So four two here, two two here, three three here, and three one here. So see, so we have the center here and minus the four neighbor points and equal uh, the value of the function f at that point multiplied by x square. Okay. Okay, so now how about the second point x5, y3? So where's x5, y3? So x5, y3 is right here. Yeah. And now you see that this is a center. And if you look at the four neighbors, so here is okay, here is okay, 
but this point and this point is on the boundary okay so on the boundary then we know the value of the function u is has to be 20 so this one is like u uh, 5 4 has to be equal 20 because the boundary condition so this is the boundary condition yeah and here as well so here we have u uh, at 6 3 equal 20 as well by boundary condition so now how do we take into account those two boundary values so first we start with the equation again so at x5 y3 then the equation you know will be 4 u 5 3 and now minus the four neighbors so you have minus u 4 3 minus u 5 2 so 4 3 here 5 2 is here and minus u 6 3 yeah and then minus u 5 4 equal minus f 5 3 h square okay and now because u 5 4 equal 20 so u 5 4 equal 20 so this one is 20 and u 6 3 equal 20 so you have to move the known values to the right yeah so now we will have something like 4 u 5 3 minus u 4 3 minus u 5 2 equal 40 yeah 40 you move minus 20 minus 20 you move to the right 40 minus f 5 3 h square so this is the equation at the grid x 5 y 3